updated anything well, or have even you done a cabin walkthrough no i haven't because yesterday i was really feeling sick and we just kind of chilled but josh made well he popped some uh, pizzas in the oven and that's what we had and then like i fell asleep on the couch so this is the outside portion they've got this fire pit out here this is the cabin we're staying in it's very pretty so you open in here and it's just like gorgeous we've got the bathroom that way with a bidet good day shower and like it's been the best thing ever having a bidet and i don't need to explain why they've done a really good job decorating it it's very pretty this is the room we slept in last night come on in uh look over here got a bookshelf full of options a little day bed thing here. And look at this view. Yes, everything. That's the hot tub. Um, and then this is the dining table. This is the wood stove that Josh cannot figure out. Nope. How long did you spend just sitting in front of it with your crack out? Three hours. You're not filming anything. Two hours. This is the kitchen. <laughs> We've got our fridge pretty damn stocked. We bought all this stuff. So this is the upstairs portion, bed, and then this. I've hung up all of our clothes, the bathroom. Then we can go outside, there's a little balcony out here. But yeah, that's pretty much it, this beautiful A-frame cabin that we're staying at. I think it's time for some s'mores. <laughs> Sorry, but the inventor of ass warmers deserves every award. Every award? Every award. We didn't tell you about what we experienced in this town yesterday. We just saw a lady walking her pet raccoon. It was the best and the worst moment of my life. Lantons. The best thing ever in the world just happened. <laughs> One of those is a Boston Terrier, like Pierre. And we're missing Pierre hard right now. And his name was Bubba, which is my, the first ever Boston in our family, Bubba. And so it was just meant to be. That right there is a tattoo shop. And we're coming back tomorrow at 11.30. I'm excited. Morning, we're gonna do something special. Look, look, look at me. Look, look, look. <laughs> Hold on, let me say it. 
Let me try that <laughs> I'm completely sober. I'm not drunk. Hmm? <laughs> you guys scared? Don't mess with his so hand. came up with the best word of all Scrabble time. How many points did I get, honey, for 60. just that word? 60. 60. 60! What? How does Ross make you feel? It makes me feel awkward. <laughs> Why? Like, cringe. Cause he's like suffocating. <laughs> suffocating who? Uh, Rachel. <laughs> oh. Josh has been grinding my gears all morning. Good morning. It's really rainy. Today we're trying to get out of this town for a little bit. Cause yesterday we had a lazy day and we stayed home all day cause Josh got his period so. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> We just want to go see a movie, damn it. So I think we're going to go to Puyallup, Puyallup, Washington. And there's Chinese food there, which I'm really craving. And Josh is craving too, because he's on his period. And there's a movie theater there, so we're going to see a movie. Yesterday, Vivi was stir crazy. She wanted to get out of the house, out of the cabin, out of the safety of our cabin. She wanted Chinese food, which we got, and she wanted to see a movie, which we saw. It chapter two. Not better than chapter one, but it was still good. I would just say the drive was freakiest. Freakier than a clown. We had a drive through National Forest, um, and that's like the entry to the trip, and then you drive like an hour past the National Forest to the town. Pulley up. This is, I think, where we went. It's a heck of a drive, and on the way back, it was pitch black. Literally could not see anything. High beams on the entire ride, and it was raining, so that added to it. There's tons of potholes. That was fun. And yours truly got to drive through it. Uh, VV was silently freaking out next to me. Afterwards, I was mentally exhausted, but we had a good time. You know, we still had fun. Man, that drive was a heck of a drive.
love you. Tell me what you think about this place. It's amazing. But I'm a city girl and I want to go back. Where are we going? Seattle. Thank you.